are live from the MAP Sports Facility with over 65,000 square feet of basketball space here in beautiful Garden Grove, California. Under Armour Association brought to you by Ball is Life. This is the third stop on the Under Armour Association grassroots basketball circuit. The goal for these teams is to win the Under Armour Association 17 and under championship division finals taking place July 13th through the 16th in Sewanee, Georgia. The Under Armour circuit began in 2013. It became a full-fledged league with regularly scheduled games and a shot clock in 2015. There are 28 teams in the UAA divided into two 14-team divisions the Humble Division and the Hungry Division. And tonight, we have the Humble Division and two teams that are very hungry. Earl Watson Elite at seven and two, taking on We Are One from the Tri-State area, also at seven and two. Hello again, everybody. I'm Fred Salas alongside Ronnie Flores. Glad to be with us. And Ronnie, one of the key features of the 2015 season just a year ago was the implementation of the 32nd clock. Talk to our audience about how important that was and what it did for the level of play. Well, on the UAA grassroots circuit, the 30-second shot clock bred out, brings out the best in coaching and the best of the individual talent. The players get to showcase their individuality, and there's no holding of the ball, and the games go better, and they're smoother, and it's high level. All of this to win the championship in Georgia next month. Let's take a look at last year's champion, the 2015 team from Charlotte. Team Charlotte, led by former NBA guard Jeff McGinnis, went to the championship, won it all down in Swanee, and is back at it again this year. They're 8-1 leading the division, and Earl Watson and we are one tonight, or one game behind at 7-2. Should be a great matchup, Fred. Speaking of great matchups, let's talk about team leaders and two of the top players from both teams. First up, Ira Lee, shooting 53% from the field and averaging 14 points a game. Well, there's uh, Ira Lee. Actually, that's Trevon Duval on the screen. But Ira Lee's a top 50 player, big time offers from all over the country. He's a physical specimen, relentless in his attack, and he's one of the vocal leaders for Earl Watson. And he's going to have to try to help inside when, when to slow down Trevon Duval. Trevon Duval shooting 51% from the field. He averages 16 points a game. These two guys are going to have a great night. Yes, Fred. Trevon Duval is arguably the top player in the U. AA circuit. He's a top five prospect in the country and arguably the best point guard and he does a little bit of everything. He's explosive. He's about five to ten pounds stronger with a lot of muscle and he should definitely give the fans their money worth tonight in this matchup. Let's take a look at the roster for tonight's matchup starting with Earl Watson elite the point guards Jalen Harris Spencer Friedman shooting guard is Reed Farley. Also another point guard Jamarl Baker the power forwards are Zephyr Williams and Andres Jackson. Shooting guards are Brandon Davis, Jawan Harris Dyson, and the power forwards Ira Lee and Miles Brookins. For the home team in white tonight, we are one, led by Trevon Duvall. Also another point guard, Talik Williams will see some action. Erica Yala will be out on the hardwood. Another point guard, Jawan Collins. A shooting guard, DeAndre Vilmar and Barama Sidibe. And Warren Williams are the power forwards. Maurice Williams, another forward shooting guard. Kevin Anderson, center, who we're going to see a lot of action with tonight. Zach Kent, and another forward, Tyrese Martin. Fred, you've got to watch uh, Juwan Harris Dyson from Earl Watson, number 22. He's probably going to get the matchup on Trevon Duvall. Try to slow him down. Should be a great matchup. Earl Watson elite taking on We Are One. Back with the opening tip-off right after this. Back live, Garden Grove, California. Beautiful night here in SoCal. Glad you could be with us, Fred Salas, alongside Ronnie Flores. Earl Watson Elite donned in dark gray uniforms with black trim, and we are one donned in a, I would say, a very light powder blue. Well, let's call it white for the purposes of the camera, and black trim. And it'll be We Are One who wins the tip. Coming out of the backcourt will be Eric Ayala, one of the top players for this team. Trevon Duvall will also play the point position. Trevon Duvall is getting matched up by Juwan Harris Dyson. Juwan Harris Dyson has his hands, so they want to slow him, try to slow him down. Williams with the feed into Sidibe, and it goes the other way. On the move is Harris Dyson. And that one's knocked away. Quickly ahead, this is Ayala flushing it down. 
Earlier today, Ayala hit a big three to take their game into overtime be before we are one lost by one point. Coming out of the backcourt. Moving nicely is Brandon Davis, and he gets it in the hands of Zafir Williams. This is Ayala coming out of the backcourt. Ayala out of Delaware, Putnam Science Academy, and Williams with the turnaround won't go down. And from way outside, that shot put up by Jamal Baker off the mark. From way outside, Eric Ayala rebounded to the hands of Ira Lee. Spencer Freeman with the shot, doesn't go down, and a loose ball finally scrambled for and picked up by Sadibe, now in the hands of Duvall. Duvall down the lane, it's blocked. Turn around by Sadibe, and the rebound to Williams. Zafir Williams is undersized power forward, but he does a lot for this team. He has his hands full tonight, but he's used to playing against taller players. The junior, and he's going to be a senior at Long Beach Poly this year. Spencer Friedman on the three-pointer. Spencer Friedman wearing number four today. Point guard in modern day, junior to be excellent outside shooter. We'll see what he can do for her Watson. Well, a little slow start for Spencer Friedman, and ball go out of bounds to We Are One, and Talik Williams will inbound. That's a good look at the 6'3 point guard out of William Allen High School. Pennsylvania. This is Duvall on the move. Tyrese Martin shot not close. Ball in the hands of Spencer Friedman, who will bring it out of the backcourt. Spencer Friedman was the co Trinity League MVP from Modern Day Monarchs this past year. Junior to be. Baker from outside. Rebound to Ayala. Jamal Baker plays a little bit of combo guard, been playing the point guard a little bit at times for Earl Watson. He's a natural shooting guard, learning the nuances of the point guard position. Duvall lost the handle into the hands of Williams. And a timeout on the floor. We'll step aside, timeout on the floor. Back after this. Is start. Third stop on the Under Armour Association grassroots basketball circuit underway here. And a 2-2 tie early on, just getting started. On the drive goes Martin. And a nice move as he cut down the lane, and it's a 4-2 ball game. The Allentown, Pennsylvania products averaging 10 points and shoots about 37% from the three-point range for we are one. Ira Lee at the top of the key, pulls up. That one off the hill, rebound of the hands of Harris Dyson, who puts it back in. Kind of been the X factor for Earl Watson in, in, lately in these games. And he's a great defender, and he's improving his offense. Jawan Harris Dyson out of Heritage Christian up in the San Fernando Valley. Tyrese Martin on the move, top of the key. That one is short. Rebound of the hands of Ayala, who pumps it. He, too, is short. Rebound hustled for by... Talik Williams. Williams, nice feed inside and converting is Martin. Nice cut there to finish for Martin. Tyrese Martin, 6'4", small forward out of William Allen High School out of Allentown, Pennsylvania. 2017 prospect, that means he's a senior to be, Fred. Tonight when we say 2018, that means there's a junior to be, and obviously if there's any 2019s, there's sophomores to be. On the move was Ira Lee, and he gets it right back and puts it in. Back the other way comes Martin. Williams from way outside, air ball. Rebounded by Lee. Quickly into the hands and ahead to Jamal Baker. Baker pulls up left side off the glass and rimmed out. That was deep down the cylinder. There's Juwan Harris-Dyson working hard again underneath the glass, giving them a lot early. 
Blue collar work by Harris. Dyson goes for not. He lost the handle out of play. And Tyrese Martin will inbound. Duvall coming out of the backcourt, Advanced Prep International High School. 17 points a game, four rebounds a game, and five assists. It's definitely one of the best overall prospects in the country and is fighting for that number one point guard position in the 217 class with Trey Young out of Norman, North Oklahoma. They're, they're neck and neck. Trey Young plays on a different circuit. Cross court pass goes awry. Quick hands on the court tonight by both squads. Jalen Harris now. Ira Lee pumps for three, hits it. Check that, Tyrese Martin with the three-pointer. Jamal Baker running the point right now for Earl Watson to leap. And on the move is Harris Dyson and a whistle. Personal foul against Team Earl Watson. Turn around, baseline is good. That was Ira Lee. Ira Lee working hard underneath. He's working on becoming a go-to player for his high school team, he wasn't really the go-to player. He started off the season at Sierra Canyon in Chatsworth and then moved up for prolific prep, replayed more of a secondary scoring role. Kevin Anderson with the drive and the putback was good. That was Warren Williams who checked into the game. 6-7 out of St. Benedict's prep to New Jersey. From way outside, three-pointer by Baker. Jamal Baker, one of the best outside shooters in the class. He's a Cal commit. Conzo Martin's doing a great job of recruiting up in Berkeley. Duvall kicks it out. Three-point attempt put up by Martin goes for not. Three-pointer by Anderson is good. And frustration on the face of Ira Lee, who was defending on the play. If Kevin Anderson hits those shots tonight, we are one's going to be in great position. That was Ander a tough shot. Beg your pardon, Ronnie Anderson, 6'4 shooting guard out of Williamsport, Pennsylvania. In deep turnaround by Ira Lee is short. Kicked out to the top. This is Baker for another three. That one's good. We are one is going to have to get that scouting report. When Jamal Baker sets his feet, he's a great, excellent outside shooter. That's what they don't want to give up there. Baker out of Roosevelt High in Corona, averaging 16 points a game and just a careless effort on the part of Talik Williams, who had it slip right through his hands. There's Jamal Baker, does what he does best, sets his feet, gets his feet under his shoulders, and knocks it down. And he's got the finish with the wrist on the right hand. He was an All-State, Cal High Sports All-State underclass pick at Corona Roosevelt, along with his, his teammate, Matt Mitchell. So they should have one of the best teams in Southern California in the 2016-17 season, friends. Another turnover for We Are One, and now they get it inside. Back up top, this is Ira Lee, who has yet to hit from outside. I really he's developing that part of his game. He's not really a, a jump shooter. He's, he's coming along. He's developing in that area. Coach Zidane doesn't want him to take too many of those tonight. Andres Jackson is checked in, number 15, 6'7". He gets his hands on the ball quickly into the hands of Lee. Working inside the paint and drawing the foul is the man right on crew, Andres Jackson, 6'7", power forward from San Mar Santa Margarita High School. Averaging about eight points a game. Going to the line there, you see he makes it over the right half hook type. Unconventionally banks that in free throw in, Fred. Jackson may have, much. I think he whispered glass before letting it go. Try and go two for two at the line. Not this time. Rebound of the hands of Sadibi. Sadibi played for one of the best prep school type academies in the country, St. Benedict's Prep. Definitely Fab 50 ranked this past season. Mark Taylor does a great job with his program out there in Newark, New Jersey. Excellent defense by Williams to get the turnover and then hitting the three is Jamal Baker. That's his third three of the evening. Baker lighting it up from outside the arc tonight. 
We are one's gonna have to cover him. Can't leave him open. For us, it's gonna be a long night. Turn around inside, easy bucket for Kevin Anderson. Kevin Anderson goes to St. John Newman School in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And as you know, Fred, Williamsport is known as the home of the Little League World Series. Indeed, Baker trying to hit from NBA three-point read. Range, a near travel. Count the basket. Kevin Anderson will go to the line after converting off the glass. Kevin Anderson, the give and go, gets it back. Duvall unselfish there, and it creates a three-point opportunity for We Are One. It almost looked like Anderson traveled for a half a step. I'm not sure he was expecting that pass back. Duvall was under the, under the rim, and he got it back, and he, he had the athleticism to finish it. Checking into the game is a 6'8 power forward out of modern-day Miles Brookins for Earl Watson Elite, and uh, taking a breather is Ira Lee. And the stats you may see on, on the monitor are the stats on this UAA circuit for these teams. These are not the stats with their high school team. Obviously, these guys are go-to players on their high school team. The stats are what they're doing for their travel team here on this third stop of this UAA circuit through the first two stops. Baker working it out of the backcourt against DeAndre Vilmar, who's just checked in. Baker in the paint, kicks it out left side down the baseline and feeding it inside. And some body contact in the paint. It was Miles Brookins who was going to the hole, and I think he will go to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. Also in on the fray was Andres Jackson on the receiving end of a lot of contact down underneath the net. Miles Brookins is an emerging prospect. He's expected to have a big season at Modern Day next year. Hasn't really been a focal player there yet, but he's coming along and he's getting recruited by a host of D1 colleges. He has a bright future, the young man, Miles Brookins. Missing the first free throw. Missed them both. And as we saw in the, the earlier game, Fred, those free throws are going to be important down the end. Looks like this is going to be a tight game. Vilmar with the rebound and double teamed as he comes out of the backcourt. Now he's on the drive. Vilmar to the glass, and he will go to the line. So DeAndre Vilmar, 6'4", shooting guard out of Roman Catholic High School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Got a nice feed there from Juwan Collins and drew the foul on Miles Brookins. Miles Brookins a little perplexed by the call. Pretty obvious there, right? Definitely. And everybody should have that class in college. Obvious one, obvious two. Roman Catholic is another nationally ranked Fat 50 program. They had a great season, won a Pennsylvania state title. Roman Catholic out of, Pencil, out of Philadelphia, PA, Vilmar School. Talik Williams checks out. Eric Ayala checks back in for We Are One. And Vilmar nails the second one. So Vilmar a good start at the free throw line tonight. Brookins now left side. Working it around to the top. Spencer Friedman's checked back in. Driving down the lane in traffic and denied was Williams. Back the other way, the speed, these guys get a little top heavy that time. That was actually Brandon Davis on the drive from Alamany. Strong guard, great body. He gives Coach George Zidane from Earl Watson a great spark off the bench, and he should make an impact in tonight's game, number 21 in the gray and black. Yeah, Brandon Davis. That shot off the mark, back the other way we go. From way outside, Spencer Friedman. And the shot's no good and a whistle. Loose ball underneath the scrum, and it's going to be We Are One who come away with it. Collins, who's checked into the game, kicks it out to Kevin Anderson for three. That one off the mark. Rebound in the hands of Friedman, double teamed to the backcourt, and last touched by We Are One. Spencer Freeman's an excellent shooter. He can run the one. 
and uh, he gives this team a lot. They lost their only two games when Friedman and Brandon Davis were not on the team in New York. He joined the fray, and he's a starting guard. Spencer Friedman, one of the best shooters in the country. Friedman pressured down the backcourt by Jawan Collins. Davis on the right side now. Davis on the drive. Davis kicks it out. Here's Friedman. Thought it was going down, already in retreat. Rebound in the hands of Williams, and he'll draw the foul. Usually when Spencer gets his feet set, he's money, but he knew he wanted that one back. That was a good look, and that's the kind of shot Coach George Zidane and the coach at, coaches at Earl Watson want on that. Takes seven fouls to get to the charity stripe. Not there yet. Two 16-minute halves and a two-minute halftime. And, of course, the 30-second shot in play. Inside six minutes left in the first half. Fred Salas alongside Ronnie Flores. Glad you could be with us here for this Under Armour Association grassroots basketball game. Shot from outside off the hill. The putback is good. Erica Yala, right place at the right time. Earl Watson went to a zone, and of course, sometimes you're susceptible to offensive rebounding when you go to a zone. And you notice Trevon Duvall hasn't got a shot in a few minutes. That may be by design, Fred. Reed Farley is checked in out of La Jolla for Earl Watson Elite. He's on the right wing. Here's Friedman running through the lane. Brandon Davis deed up by Erica Yala. Davis, nowhere to go. Shot clock running down. Friedman won't go down, and the putback and a whistle. Andres Jackson got the rebound and a foul underneath, and Jackson will go to the line. Shot clock was running down there on Spencer. You see Dries Jackson working hard, went over the top of there on a shorter player. Shorter player for We Are Ones called for the foul. DeAndre Vilmar. And Jackson yeah. misses the first one, and he's going to want to drop the second one. Substitution now as Harris Dyson checks back in. Jamal Baker in for Earl Watson Elite. And how important are these free throws in a game like this? This game looks like it's going to be close. These are evenly matched teams. They're both 7-2. and two. They're going to matter down the stretch, as we saw earlier in the New Heights game when they won earlier this afternoon. Jackson has a seat. Ira Lee checks back in. And for We Are One, coming into the game, the 6'9", Barama Sadibi. And Warren Williams will have a seat. Team Beast Mode missed their free throws in the first half, and it cost them late in the second half. We'll see what happens here. Sadibi out of St. Benedict's Prep in New Jersey. This is Duvall now. As you see there, Juwan Harris Dyson wants to get in his collar, wants to stick close to him wherever he goes. Collins and a whistle. Collins was fouled, a loose ball foul, and it'll go out of bounds to Earl Watson Elite. You see that foul there, a lot of boxing out, a little bit of holding. High release. And you look at our officials, LeVon Zakarian, and that's Jenny Osborne. And then now joining the fray is Charles Rubia to discuss the call. It was away from the ball, a lot of physical contact. And you see Jenny Osborne with her back to us and uh, Charles Rubia on the left side with LeVon Zakarian on Lee the Farley right. trying to close out on the shooter. Juwan Collins off. and. You see a box out there, Miles Brookins is trying to get his hand on it. Ira Lee crashes into another guy. And the rest are trying to sort this out. So four players hit the hardwood on one sequence. This is a physical game. I have, these don't look like 16 and 17 year olds. I was before the game, there's eight courts here and 65,000 square feet of commercial real estate. Arguably one of the biggest or largest venues in the country. And there is a lot of premium basketball, but you tell me these players are 16 and 17. They're playing like collegiate athletes already. Definitely, Fred. These guys are all going to get recruited at the next level. A lot of them are going to play at the high major level. And this is 17 and under you, which is the highest level of grassroots basketball that we have around the country. Grassroots means non-scholastic, means travel ball in the spring and the summer. And uh, obviously the Under Armour Association is one of the three main shoe company sponsored circuits. 
Miles Brookins has a seat as the free throw put up by Ira Lee goes down. Safir Williams checks into the game for Earl Watson Elite. And there's Earl Watson in kind of extended zone, but they're now back in the man. They kind of hide it a little bit, but they're in man to man. This is Duvall. Duvall's a little off balance there. On the move is Vilmar and tried to get it into the hands of Sadibi and lost the handle. Excellent defensive possession for Earl Watson Elite there. We are one looks a little uncomfortable in the half court set in the last few minutes. And another turnover for We Are One. And on the move now is Ira Lee and looking for some help. There's a whistle. I think he's going to get bailed out here. What the big men want to do is keep that ball high for it. When they drive, a lot of the big men in high school have a tendency to bring it low, and the guards slap at it and knock it away. Backdoor play to Ira Lee. He can't convert. But he does end up with the ball. Now a shot from outside by Baker, and he hits another one. That's four three-pointers and a 20-second timeout called by Earl Watson Elite. That's the game plan there for Earl Watson Elite. They want to get Baker open shots. And you see that extension in that release. And like you said, Fred, he holds that release and snaps it through, and he has a beautiful-looking shot. Conzo Martin is getting an excellent player at the University of California. One, obviously, they're on the grassroots circus. They're trying to get him to learn how to play the the point guard position, then he can slide back over to his natural two. Well, Baker averaging 16 points a game, Ronnie, but more importantly, 44% shooting from three-point range, and he's showing us that here tonight. Definitely. When he gets his feet set, Fred, he's one of the better shooters in the country, and he knows how to drive left and shoot to the short side. He's obviously a right-handed player, and he likes to drive left and pull up, and he pulls up even right in defenders' faces. It's a beautiful shot. Again, he's just learning how to be more loose with the ball in terms of handling the point guard position, it being comfortable, and finding teammates. But as far as shooting, he has that down pat. Well, I don't believe Baker out of Roosevelt High School in Corona has missed a three-point shot tonight. And you would think We Are One is going to make an adjustment. Coach James Johns at halftime in the short half is going to have to tell us, hey, look it, we can't leave 13 open, so we'll see what happens. Ayala in the hands of Duvall, who kicks it out to the left wing. Williams thought about it, now pumps, shoots, hits. For all we've been saying, we've been talking about Earl Watson's offensive execution. It's still a tight game, though, Fred. I mean, it's, it's not as Earl Watson has a big advantage right now. Nice move inside by Williams. And his coach at Long Beach, Paulie Shelton Diggs, telling me he's being, not really being recruited. It's a little surprising, you know, obviously colleges look for players with some size underneath but Shelt but uh Zafir Williams is a great undersized power forward he does a lot and he will help out a college program eventually back the other way off the Williams miss and an effort put up by Farley was rejected by Duvall and a couple men down on the hardwood right now and a whistle underneath Reed Farley loves to take it to the rim he didn't convert there but Juwan Harris Dyson on the on the re on, on the uh Reed Follow Farley him. a little shaken up on the play. Left knee, yep, he says it's the knee, and you could see how he fell a little awkward on it. And you can't tell me there's not a lot on the line for these team players and what they're trying to accomplish. Meanwhile, Harris Dyson at the line. One and one shooting situation, 17 fouls now. Again, Coach Zidane is not happy with those missed free throws. That one-on-one -on -one situation, you need to convert those. That was a hustle play then. They didn't get no points out of it. Ira Lee bangs into Trevon Duvall there. Earl Watson now in the bonus. Offensive interference. We are one. No basket there. Well, Warren Williams is 6'7", power forward out of New Jersey, going up high to try and finish. But he needed to wait for one more bounce before trying to complete the play. Brandon Davis now at the top of the key, defended by Williams. This is Warren Williams now kicking it out. Right wing, pumps, teardrop is good. Nice shot by Zach Kent. Beg your pardon, Harris Dyson. The offense Harris Dyson could give Earl Watson a lead would definitely be a plus today. He's in there to play defense and to make things happen. He has so far. Eric Ayala digging and grinding down the lane, and that's a shooting foul. He banged his elbow. He's going to 
take a little walk to the backcourt before coming back to the free throw line. Spin move there by Eric Ayala out of Putnam Science Academy in Delaware. 43% three-point shooter. Hit a big one to send a game into overtime earlier today that we are won eventually lost by a point. And the 6-2 guard hits the first free throw, averaging 12 points a game and shoots 43% from three-point range, class of 2018. So he just finished his sophomore season. And Eric Ayala and Trevon Duvall will be at next week's Pangos All-American camp in Cerritos. Congregation of the 120 or so of the best players in the country. Ayala is definitely deserving of a spot there at that camp. So Eric Ayala having a good game. Both free throws good, by the way. Outside shot is good, and once again, Ira Lee hitting from outside. When Ira Lee gets that consistent from the outside, it's going to just expand his game and make him that much tougher. He's already close to a top 50 prospect, a top 50 prospect in the country, and he wants to elevate his stock amongst college coaches. And getting tied up underneath was Warren Williams. Checking into the game now, Andres Jackson checks back in with Spencer Friedman. So the ball will go out of bounds to We Are One. Trevon Duvall, beat up by Harris Dyson and a whistle. Levon Zakarian with the call. Foul on Harris. Dyson. Both teams now in the bonus. Harris Dyson trying to that get in the collar beautiful. of Trevon Duvall. And <laughs> got him on the strip, but again, sometimes the reputation of a player supersedes that. And, you know, Duvall got the, the benefit of the doubt there, but the Earl Watson elite coaching staff and the players are, are happy with Juwan Harris Dyson's effort there. Duvall on advanced prep international, averaging 17 points a game. Misses the second one. Friedman out of the backcourt. In an ironic twist, Trevon Duvall played for Team B Smoke Coach Forsett down at Advanced International Prep. And that's at the high school level. Obviously, this is on the grassroots team. He plays for a different team. Another rebound for Williams for Team Watson Elite. Offensive foul. A pick, an illegal pick underneath by Juwan Harris Dyson. And that'll go out of bounds to We Are One. And Harris Dyson doesn't like the call out of Heritage Christian. Earl Watson the lead holding the three-point lead late in the first half, but they had a couple bad calls go against their way. They could have stretched this lead, but now they have a chance to, or We Are One, to cut it to one or possibly, possibly tie the game, Fred. This is Duvall working it around. Outside shot by Martin and hits the rainbow. And we are all tied up as we approach the one-minute mark left here in the first half. And going baseline off the glass and good is Harris Dyson. Keeps working on his ball skills and it's getting there. Duvall with some separation. That's good. Duvall wanted that shot. You knew he was going to take it as soon as he started going toward the rack. Wasn't back. going to be denied. Beg your pardon, Ronnie. Back and forth we go. A 32-32 tie inside the final minute left here in the first half. Alley oop goes for not. Loose ball picked up. Williams turned around off the glass. Won't go down. Finally picked up by Ayala. Ahead to Duvall. Inside slam dunk. Warren Williams. And the 6-7 power forward with the strong finish. He's a space eater and he can run the four fled. St. Benedict's great player there. And he's doing, giving We Are One some very good minutes here in this first half, making an impact. Friedman up top will play for the final shot. Earl Watson elite trailing by two. Did they get it off? Yes, they did. Remember multiple games. I heard a buzzer about three seconds in advance of the one that mattered. And we are at halftime, 34-32, a two-point advantage for We Are One. And some great action in the first half, Ronnie. Definitely. Jamal Baker kept Earl Watson and Lita in it offensively with four three-pointers. 
We are one. Close their strong after some fouls, ticky tack fouls that Earl Watson thinks win against them. We have a great first half. It should be a great second half, Fred. These two teams trying to get to Sewanee, Georgia. Come July 13th through 16 for the Under Armour Association 17 and Under Championship Division Finals. We're at halftime. Stay with us. Fred Salas, Ronnie Flores will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. Back live at the Matt Sports Facility here in beautiful Garden Grove, California. We are at halftime and a 34-32 advantage for we are one. And let's take a look at one of the great players on the court tonight, Trevon Duvall on an advanced prep international. And you see him there with the big time slam dunk over the player. Trevon Duvall is one of the best guards in the country. He can drive the court, he can hit threes. He's a leader and he's definitely trying to show that he's the best guard in the country and he's definitely the best player in the backcourt on this UAA circuit. Uh, as we are one in position here, they're up at halftime and they're, they're trying to get down to Swanee, Georgia to win the Under Armour 17 and another title. Trevon Duvall has a choice. His pickings of any school in the country. He's originally from the East Coast. He played his high school ball down at Advanced International Prep in Dallas and he's definitely one of the players to watch here tonight and he's having a, a, a good first half, not a great first half, but uh, we'll see what he can do in the second half. His team is around him is having a good performance and he's not forcing the issue, Fred. He's letting the game come to him, he's not trying to overtake it and they're doing good, they're up by two points. Has he indicated to you or anyone where he wants to go? He's not made his college choice again. He has a pickings of anywhere he, he would want to go later on, but um, you know, he's, he's definitely gonna be highly anticipated to where he does land up. Start of the second half, Earl Watson elite with the first possession. They trail by two, pass inside a turnover, out ahead to Talik Williams and knocked out of play. Quickly inbounded, Duvall, this is Erica Yala. Back to the left wing, Duvall on the drive, pulls, pumps, hits. Pretty shot by Duvall. Letting the game come to him, as we said, pretty pull up there, not forcing the action. His team is, has a lead here early in the second half. And a foul underneath, Jamal Baker driving down the key. And he was fouled hard, and he will go to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. Jamal Baker committed to the University of California last October, played his junior season, already committed, and you know, took the pressure off him. A lot of these guys want to commit early because it takes the pressure off of them. Fred. They, they can play high school ball and, and not worry so much about the recruiting prospect if they, they want to know where they want to go already. Baker two for two here in the second half at the line. The lead is two by We Are One. Eric Ayala, top of the key. Martin now feeding inside to Duvall and off the fingertips of Williams back the other way. This is Baker now. Baker off the glass and in. Nice shot. Baker has been hitting from the outside. He's got four threes tonight. And now he's showing us he can do it inside as well. He has at least two, field, two point field goals. He had 20 points in an earlier win today. So he's going to be key here. Again, you would think we are one would, would corral more defenders toward him, but maybe they're staying honest. Maybe they respect Irene and a few of the other shooters like Spencer Friedman. Duvall throws it away. A turnover for we are one, and Earl Watson Elite will inbound. Jamarl Baker coming out of the backcourt. Baker pulls up. Hits. He's Baker again. He's filling it now, Fred. Help, help, Ira! Down it! He has at least unofficially 18 points so far. Good, good. Help unofficially, we do have him at 18. So Baker lighting it up, a big part of this Earl Watson elite team tonight. And that's a three. Erica Yawa from way outside. 
Eric Ayala shooting 43% from three-point range, so you know he can drop him down. He's got Cincinnati, Iona, LaSalle, Penn State, St. John, St. Joe's, and Temple all recruiting him. Baker again hitting from outside. That's five three-pointers for Jamaro Baker. On the drive, Duvall. Williams, baseline, kicks it all the way back up top of Yalo now. Down the lane, off the glass, and good. Ayala going back and forth with Baker. Quite a, quite a match of they're not guarding each other. They're getting it done offensively. What a treat this game is. 41-41. Inside, left-handed layup is good. Beautiful shot by Ira Lee. Pump fakes it on one side, goes it through the other. Duvall answers off the glass. There's the explosiveness of Trevon Duvall there. Just blew by his guy. Baker, and he draws the foul. He will go to the line. That was his first missed three, but he drew the foul, and he'll take three from the line. Talik Williams there on the foul. He's trying to close out on him, but he hit him on the, on the wrist or the arm. He's already dropped five threes, so obviously he doesn't want to give up an open one. Baker has a chance to get up to 24 points unofficially. Short on the free throw, and for Duvall, coming into tonight's matchup with shooting 25% from the free throw line, 11 out of 44, but not tonight. He's still at 100% from the line, and he's got a chance to get two out of three from the charity stripe right now. And again, the Under Armour circuit began in 2013 and it became a full-fledged league with regularly scheduled games and a shot clock implemented in 2015. 28 teams divided into two divisions, 14 each, the Humble Division and the Hungry Division, as Baker hit two out of three free throws. And these are two teams from the Humble Division. We are Juan, Don in white, Earl Watson elite, Don in gray. 44-43, Elite just took the lead. And an offensive foul, so the basket by Eric Ayala will not count. Earl Watson Elite, seven and two. We are one, seven and two, and the defending champ, Team Charlotte, is eight and one, and there's another team at eight and one so far. KC Run GMC out of Kansas City. They're having a great showing through the first two stops of the UAA and they're, they're right in the thick of the mix with these other two teams. Friedman inside. This is Ira Lee working. Left hand rims out. Good hustle underneath and the timeout called. Could have called a travel perhaps. And that's Warren Williams who was on the floor. Scrum there. Williams stays on on the floor, it doesn't look like he got up. That's why they didn't call the travel there. He kept his rear rear end on the on the ground there, Fred. 43-45, the elite on top by a bucket. And just to give some background for Earl Watson elite, Ryan Silver started the program and he went to UCLA with Earl Watson, who's now the head coach for the Phoenix Suns. And Ryan Silver, by his own accord, wasn't the player, wasn't going to be a high level player and he wanted to give back to the game started the Earl Watson program with the current Phoenix Suns head coach and the team bears its name obviously and the skills and the speed and the results that an Earl Watson team would expect to have correct you know Earl Watson was a great player at UCLA and he's now in the in one of the best coach young coaches around you know took over the Phoenix Suns and he does a lot at that level, and, and Ryan Silver's program does a lot for our kids in, in California at this grassroots level, Fred. George Zazan is the head coach for the Elite. We are one head coach is James Johns, both running these squads in a very evenly matched game between Earl Watson Elite and We Are One. Earl Watson Elite tries to play a half, more of a half-court game where We Are One wants to get in transition. So if this game goes to the half court and slows down to a grinded affair, that's the kind of matchup George Zidane wants for Earl, Earl Watson. We are one would prefer to get out in transition, kind of like we saw New Heights earlier today, Fred. Indeed, we are one another turnover. 
from downtown Baker now. Way short. The other way goes Duvall. Trying to go coast to coast. Count the basket. Left handed off the glass and Duvall will go to the line. Picks up the loose ball, changes direction there. Switches to the left hand and you see the strength there to finish Fred. That's the difference in his game in the last six to eight months. I would say he's gotten a lot stronger. You see his upper body. Did he go through his legs as he went down the lane? And that amazing Trevon Duvall and the rainbow from the line and that's a three point play. That's awesome. That's why he's one of the top two point guards in the country, arguably the top Trevon Duvall can do a lot with the basketball, and he's going to make some college program very happy, Fred. Happy big time right now defending against Spencer Friedman, who throws it away, and there's a good defense forcing a bad decision by Friedman. You just don't want to see a young player jump to make a pass. You want to try to stay on the ground. Young players should try to stay on the ground while they make passes. Sometimes when you jump, it gets a little bit in trouble. Ball got away, turnover, we are one takes over. Friedman, Friedman goes to the bench. Harris Dyson checks in. And Friedman, you said young players, they're all young players, but Friedman just finishing his sophomore year. He's a graduate in 2018 and a whistle underneath. Spencer played his first season at Modern Day after transferring over from Santa Monica High and was the Trinity League, which was one of the high power leagues in Southern California. He was the co-MVP of that league, so he had a great year and he's having a great summer so far for Earl Watson. On the outside is Ayala, right wing. Defended by Baker. Back to Ayala, left hand off the glass, got his own rebound, and then was fouled. And Earl Watson Elite doesn't like the call. Brandon Davis is already headed the other way, and then he heard the whistle. That's, that's what they don't like about the call. It seemed late. Right here. Oh, yeah, got him on the chops, and that was Barama Sidibe. Beg your pardon, that was Reed Farley who picked up the personal. And Ayala at the line for a pair. Boy, that went halfway down the cylinder and came out. There's a good look at the guard from Putnam Science Academy in Delaware, averaging 12 <laughs> points a game. Nice. Needs to hit this one, and that one too goes down and comes out. 46-45, a one-point advantage. Pulling up, needed a bounce, the putback is good. Andres Jackson off the Ira Lee miss. Andres Jackson's a mid-major type, 4-5. Hard work underneath for Earl Watson. An elite now with a one-point advantage, a whistle on the other side, and we'll check the call. Ira Lee with the jumper off. Andres Jackson, good position, and tips it in. Santa Margarita. Senior to be 6'7", power forward, Adrice Jackson. Personal foul against Earl Watson, elite inbound. This is Duvall from the left wing, doesn't go down. On the fast break and stolen by Duvall and then stolen right back, going up is Harris Dyson. It would have counted had it gone. Instead, Harris Dyson will go to the line. Miles Brookins, the 6'8", power forward, has checked into the game as well. Here's Harris Dyson. Juwan Harris Dyson picking up the loose ball again. That's like the third or fourth time he's done that, Fred. He just has a knack for being around the ball, and the offense he gives this team is a big plus. Well, he's short on the free throw attempt. The points, the missed points on the free throws are starting to add up on both sides, Fred. This would definitely be a different score if teams would convert from the charity stripe. How true, Harris Dyson hits one of two at the line. Two-point advantage now. Bringing it up is Ayala, got a pick. Flips it out to the left side. Collins is checked in. Now on the right wing and on the dribble is Duvall. Lost the handle, kicks it out left wing. Back up top. Collins now throws it up. A wild shot. Clock was, shot clock was down to five. Back the other way in transition. Baker, and a nice strip by Ayala on defense. Wow, that stopped the train right away. That was a big play there. It looked like Baker could get an easy up. He brought the ball down, but Jawan Collins hustles and gets the ball, 
tips it away and it goes out on Earl Watson player. Big sequence there, Fred. Good call. Ronnie, I thought it was Ayala. It was Collins. These players are lightning fast. This is Ayala now. And a traveling violation. Too many steps for Ayala. And the ball will go over to Earl Watson Elite. Miles Brookings impeded his progress there. Ayala couldn't go nowhere in there. You see him kind of looking for the rest for some help, but he wasn't going to get any no help on that one. Turnover, Earl Watson's ball. Pressure by Collins in the backcourt on Friedman. Ira Lee now at the top. Friedman now for three. Hits it. Spencer Friedman, his first three of the game. And it opens up a five-point advantage. It's a big shot there, Fred. Uh, Spencer Friedman finally got off the snide, so to speak, and he gives him a five-point lead on that corner shot. When Spencer splits his feet, he's a great shooter. He's just trying to expand his game in terms of driving. Duvall with the three-point effort. Nice follow-through there by Friedman. He holds his spot, keeps his feet under him, and follows through. Sign of a great shooter. Duvall missed the shot. There was a personal foul underneath, charged on Miles Brookins, so the ball will stay with We Are One. Now checking in is Reed Farley, the 6-4 shooting guard out of La Jolla. Another thing about Reed Fyler and Spencer Freeman, they both have excellent GPAs, both over 4.0 GPAs. Reed Fyler and Spencer Freeman. That's amazing. Duvall lost the handle, loose ball, left hand. He needs a roll, gets it. Execution underneath by Warren Williams. It's a DB with the tip in there, and Coach George is down from Earl Watson's not happy on that. Off the mark was Brookins, rebound into the hands of Sadibi, and it's thrown away. Unforced turnover there, those are big. Gives the ball back to Earl Watson, elite. Checking in is Baker. And having a seat is Brandon Davis. Davis with just a few minutes here in the second half, that's it. Spencer Friedman now That's an inbound. Offense for defense substitution there, Fred. They got the ball back, so quickly Jamal Baker goes back in the game because now they're back on offense. Wiping up some contestation there in the corner. Ref doesn't want nobody to slip. The, the fans in this grassroots setting are right on top of the court, so it's very important that the court stays dry. There's a lot of bodies. Could be potential condensation there in the corners and on the court. Well, condensation is something that permeates from moisture. This is just drip and sweat. These boys are working hard tonight. Definitely. Right wing, Collins now. This is Kevin Anderson back to Collins. Some space. Collins pulls, bumps, needs a bounce, doesn't get it. Quick hands underneath and. Trying to go up was Ayala and rejects it underneath, and finally Williams comes away with it. Friedman thought about it, kicks it inside in the paint, shot is short. Rebound in the hands of Kevin Anderson. And what a sequence that was. Kevin Anderson had 21 points in the win earlier. Kevin Anderson draws the personal on Reed Farley. And Kevin Anderson will go to the line. Kevin Anderson drives right, puts his left hand out. Looks like Reed Farley got the position there, but they call the block. Reed Farley actually takes more charges on this Earl Watson team than anybody else. Reed Farley scored 33 out of 36 on his ACT, Fred. Just a great student. That is amazing. Scholar athlete they're commonly referred to. Mistakenly, I thought they were going to go to the line as an inbound. For we are one, a loose ball knocked out of bounds and a loose ball foul. Now, a lot to of get whistles. A, number. a lot of whistles in the last few minutes. Kind of slowed the continuity of this game down. We'll see what happens here. What team can recover and run their offense as Eric Ayala goes to the line? What seems for about the eighth or tenth time today, he's been at the line a lot, Fred. 
Yes, he has. Ayala, 6'2 guard out of Delaware. Makes the first one count. And that's the key now that they're in the bonus. They've got to start hitting the front ends of those one and ones if they're going to win this game here in the last 741. We are ones now in the bonus. Needed a bounce, didn't get it. Jackson with a rebound. Out of the back cup comes Harris Dyson, and Dyson throws it away nearly, and Jackson hustling for it. It goes in the direction of We Are One, back the other way. This is Ayala. Tough shot, doesn't get it to go down, and comes up with a rebound while he's lying on his back. A little help now. A little help to Scouter there. We'll see if they can get a good shot. Foul on number, well, waiting for a number right now, but not happy with the call is George Zidane, the head coach for Earl Watson Elite. It was and a, now a conference between Jenny Osborne and Charles Rubia. It was a call off the ball, away from the ball. The ball was in the corner about 35, 40 feet from the basket. And a lot of contact there. Again, like I said, it's a Houcher Scouter, and we'll see if he can Knocked down the front end of the one and one. Duvall hits the first one. The personal was on Juwan Harris Dyson. Loose ball foul. Rebound. Harris Dyson out of Heritage Christian. Rebound. Duvall needs a bounce, gets it. And Juwan Harris Dyson was instructed to get in the, under his collar right in his shirt. And then maybe on that he did it too good of a job because they called the foul away from the ball. And here we have another one. This one's going to go against Kevin Anderson in the backcourt. And Anderson saying, who me? 6'4", St. John Newman Regional Academy out of Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Class of 2017, Friedman coming out of the backcourt in a 51-51 ball game. Just what the doctor ordered here from Garden Grove, California. Fred Salas alongside Ronnie Flores, three-point shot from outside. Huge hit by Baker. That's his sixth three-pointer of the night. And he has unofficially 26 points. That is his sixth three-pointer. We'll see how much he ends up with, Fred. He comes into the game shooting 25% from beyond the arc tonight. Unofficially, 88%. What a move and what a transition for Baker. Falling to his right, out of bounds in the corner, and. Nails it, keeps that form. Jamal Baker, six three-pointer of the afternoon. Beautiful shot contested. Big time shot there. Warren Williams off the personal at the line now. In a 54-51 ball game. And we can't emphasize how important these free throws are. Warren Williams, a 6-7 power forward, has to knock these down, concentrate, and get the second one. They need, the, they need the production here. They, they don't want Earl Watson Elite to get a two or three possession lead. St. Benedict's prep New Jersey for Williams. He missed them both. And that's going to play a key. Here's Jamal Baker. Again, Baker hammered, and he will go to the line. And Baker, a pretty good free throw shooter. He'll get a chance to add to that three-point advantage. He actually got fouled on the three-pointer earlier today, and he hit two or three of those free throws. So we'll see if he can drop both of them here. First one goes down. 55-51. Jamar Baker, 6'3", point guard out of Roosevelt High. Misses the second, but a nice rebound by Andres Jackson. And a timeout called by Earl Watson Elite. A four-point ball game, 55-51. Timeout on the floor. We'll step aside back with more action here at the Under Armour Association Grassroots Basketball game. We're headed to Georgia next month. Stay with us. Back live, Garden Grove, California, from the MAP Sports Facility with over 65,000 square feet of basketball space, eight basketball courts, and Fred Salas and Ronnie Flores bringing you the action 
here between Earl Watson Elite and We Are One. And this is Earl Watson Elite, and Jackson slipped. And I think he was bailed out. A trip was called on Barama Sadibi. And that'll send Jackson to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. He looked a little out of control there. You're right, Fred, but he, he got the tripping call, and he's going to go to the line here, try to extend this lead to a two-possession game here. Jackson hits the first one, and you can tell who's got the stroke at the free throw line, can't you? Definitely. You know, usually a guy who sets his feet, bends his knees a little bit, and follows through and looks relaxed. You always want to be relaxed on your free throws. And Jackson good on both counts. I like Jackson's shoes, those Under Armour high tops. I might have to get a pair of those this weekend. Definitely a lot of nice shoes in the building. Six point lead. Duvall, no look inside. Beautiful pass and finish by Sadibe from Duvall. Full court pressure now. And Earl Watson Elite breaks it and coming through is Harris Dyson in an offensive foul on Harris Dyson. As taking the hit was DeAndre Vilmar. And you see that play more now, Fred, where a player passes it off and he gets called for the charge after he lets the ball go. That it's been a been more point of emphasis maybe in the last few years. You didn't see that as much before. You always try a player try to stop your feet when you make a pass or a shot. What's interesting here, Ronnie, is the amount of substitutions that are coming in, and there's no drop off in the level of play as that shot was blocked. Vilmar got it back and finally gets in the hands of Harris Dyson. Ahead to Jackson. Nice move off the glass. Needs a roll, doesn't get it. Satibe with a rebound and quickly up to the front court. Devon into the hands of Vilmar, and he'll draw the foul and go to the line for a pair. You see Duvall there on Selfish, finds his cutting teammate. That's kind of been his, his trademark game. He's not trying to overcompensate or over, overtake anybody or leave anybody out of the line, line in terms of getting points. He's trying to stay within, within the context or framework of the team, and if it comes down close, he may take the big shot. Four-point advantage for Earl Watson, elite head coach George Zidane. Not happy with the whistles being blown on the floor right now. DeAndre Vilmar. The 6'4 shooting guard out of Roman Catholic High School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, at the line. And he will shoot a pair. Roman Catholic is one of the top 15 teams in the Ball is Life national team rankings. Roman Catholic, one of the better teams in the country. Ira Lee checks in. Zafir Williams to the bench. Vilmar missed them both. Rebound on the hands of Harris Dyson. Friedman out of the backcourt. Harris Dyson now. This is Baker. Baker with six threes tonight. Came in shooting 25% from behind the arc. And that one was blocked. Baker wanted a foul, didn't get it. Warren Williams. Duvall with the finish, down the baseline, what a shot. Body control, strength, power, Duvall has a little bit of it all. He almost makes it easy, look effortlessly easy, Freddie. The game comes to him so easy. Harris Dyson, left wing, nice move, baseline off the glass, no good, but he'll go to the line. Jawan Harris Dyson just keeps coming, he's relentless in his pressure and his attack. He Keeps going at you. He puts a lot of pressure on defenses by continuously to attack the rim. The 6'3 shooting guard out of Heritage Christian High School will try to add to the lead. Nice stroke. 58-55 now. As you can see, both teams in the bonus. Harris Dyson, class of 2017, at the line. And he got them both. Four-point advantage coming out of the backcourt will be Trevon Duvall. And Duvall has had an outstanding game tonight. Collins and Duvall, the guards, floating it over now to Vilmar. 
This is Ayala now inside. Sadibe turnaround is long. Into the hands of Ira Lee to Friedman, and he hits a three. Spencer Friedman on a modern day. That was a big shot, and that opens up the biggest lead of the half. Spencer Friedman's hit two big clutch three-pointers, and he makes a big-time defensive play there. Great instincts. Ira Lee with the left-hand pass. Spencer sets his feet, follow through, strokes it in. And the bigger play is his defensive play down on the other end right now that we just had for Spencer. Talk about playing on both sides of the ball, Ronnie. As you mentioned, he hit the three, the lefty, and then that defensive effort, and he's fouled in the backcourt by Sidibe. And now, Friedman at the line, averaging seven points a game. And again, not their season numbers. These are for the Under Armour Association season numbers. That's correct. And Spencer's the type of kid, he'll, he won't leave the basketball court when he's practicing until he hits about 25 jumpers in a row. He'll stay at it. He has a great worth e ethic, and that's what makes differences in plays like this at the end of the game. Biggest lead of the ball game, 64-55. Earl Watson elite in gray. We are one in white. We are one with the ball and a whistle underneath. And I believe they're going to get Andres Jackson with the personal. And from the NBA, the Golden State Warriors have stayed alive. They defeated Oklahoma. The Thunder by 7, 108, 101. But if you're at home, you're probably watching two screens right now, your computer screen and your flat screen. But we De like to. Definitely. And there's a lot of Golden State Warriors who, fans who love to follow the Under Armour Social. And obviously, Stephen Curry's, Steph Curry's one of their biggest, if not the biggest, uh, you know, promoter of, of the UA brand. Steph Curry's had a great run, and they're trying to win their second consecutive NBA title. He's Under Armour's number one spokesman. Indeed he is, and this is where the free throws start to add up. A miss, seldom by Duvall at the line. That one hits. And it's an eight-point ball game as we approach three and a half minutes in this one. Coming out of the backcourt, Harris Dyson. And he is fouled. They're calling it close now. Kevin Anderson defending on the play for we are one. And bonus time, so that's free throws for Juwan Harris Dyson. Juwan Harris Dyson was the X factor in this game. Early player to watch in terms of guarding Duvall. And he uh, has had a great game. And he's also given Earl Watson elite a lift offensively with his energy and effort. And he's made a big difference here. We all know that Sports Center never leads off with free throws, but this is a department that every level, NBA, collegiate, and high school, has suffered in over the last decades. It's kind of eroded. It's a lost art, and it's so critical to winning championships. From outside, what a big shot. That was a two-pointer put up by Trevon Duvall. Duvall's trying to keep his team in it. They don't want to go down double digits because then that psychologically comes into fact, factor in the play, Fred. Seven-point lead by Earl Watson Elite. A loose ball foul called against Jawan Collins, a six-foot point guard out of Academy Park Hill. And there's a good look at Steph Curry. Baker will go to the line. Unbelievable how Steph Curry's playing. He's made more three-pointers in one NBA season than Magic Johnson did in 12 NBA seasons. Just taking the game, obviously the game is always evolving, and the three-point shot has just been such a weapon for the Golden State Warriors. Baker hits them both, and the lead is nine. And I think I heard Gary Payton, former Seattle C Supersonic, and Laker actually criticize the defense that is being played in the NBA now to where it was when he was playing with a lot of hand checking as there's a foul on the drive 
by Harris Dyson, and he will go to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. Did you hear that? Yeah, I definitely heard that from Gary Payne. Obviously, I'm a traditionalist, too. I like to see players take the, the best shot available. The Golden State Warriors like to get out and sprint to the three-point line, but it works for them. And, you know, you can't really criticize because they're getting the results. They went 73-9 and nine this year. Great season for the Golden State Warriors. It looked like they were on the brink of getting eliminated, and uh, they made their way back to force a game seven. Every player thinks that the players from their era are the best ever. That's kind of a, <laughs> a thing. Oscar Robinson got into that a little bit. You know, uh, one of the all-time greats, Larry Bird, is kind of says that the game today is as good as it's ever been. So everybody has a different perspective. But usually people like to favor their formative years, the years when they grew up watching their, their heroes and their favorites. Well, Larry Bird, uh, I respect his decision. A beautiful block inside by Sadibic. Driving baseline, reverse layup, no good. That was off the hands of Vilmar. And Duvall trying to finish from the top of the key and back in the hands of Sidibe. Looked like he walked there. Ayala for three, and that one's off the mark completely. Didn't draw iron. Zafir Williams in the right place at the right time. They the, call him Big Z. The lead is double digits and a timeout by Earl Watson, elite head coach George Zidane. And Sadibi there on the block on Ira Lee. Ira Lee likes to try to finish with that left hand. And Sadibi's a very good shot blocker. Six foot nine power forward out of St. Benedict's in Newark, New Jersey. Well, you know, I mentioned just a moment ago the respect everybody has for Larry Bird. I'll tell you, as a longtime Laker fan, I couldn't stand him when they were playing the Lakers. But sure. in the big picture, he is one if if the not most respected NBA player legend of our time and when he says hey it's about as good as it gets I believe him definitely I, I'm in the same boat there Fred Larry Legend is one of the best if not the best forwards of all time and the game evolves obviously the game was more physical then there was a lot more uh, contact in the lane and there's more hand checking but uh, the NBA game is definitely healthy and obviously these youngsters emulate what they see in the pro game, and you see there Jamal Baker loves to shoot the three, Spencer Freeman can hit the three. That shot has revolutionized the game, and obviously it's been the difference in today's game. Earl Watson elite in the huddle, breaking free with George Zidane, the head coach, but you talk about physical. The game we're watching right now is about as physical as I have seen at this level ever. I mean, they're playing great defense, there's a lot of contact, a lot of hand checking, and nobody shine away from contact here tonight. Definitely. That's why the outside shot becomes such a weapon. When the going gets tough, if you can hit that shot, it puts demoralizes the defense if you play good defense. Two minutes left in this one. A 10-point advantage, double-digit lead for Earl Watson Elite. And it's crunch time for We Are One. They need a steal. They need a possession. They need some buckets. And they get a rejection inside by Erica Yala. And the ball is thrown away, and it'll stay with Earl Watson Elite. And one of these two teams is going to be 8-2 and two after tonight, and it's certainly leaning in the direction of Earl Watson Elite. Eric Ayala with the block there, and Juwan Harris-Dyson, and it looks like Vilmar kicked the ball out of bounds, Earl Watson's ball. The other thing that's impressive about these ball clubs, both teams, unselfish play. Nobody's hoarding the basketball everybody's looking to pass and help and get assists and just spread the wealth and that's the difference with the Under Armour Association going to a league type format where standings matter the games matter the criticism of grassroots basketball was that and you see Jamal Baker missing a jumper there the criticism was that the games were just meaningless and endless and now that they're standings it means something to try to go for the win and be unselfish yes it does this is a Yala right wing drive and Rejected, no whistle, and coming up with the loose ball was Ira Lee taking it coast to coast. No, he dishes off to Baker, who missed the layup. Duvall. And he will go to the line. Travon Duvall, you might just call him a surgeon because he cuts his way through the defense no matter where he's at on the floor. Doesn't need a big seam, and he's so strong, he, he can slice two defenders, and... He usually gets contact or finishes or you draw a foul on somebody. Well, Zavir Williams was called for the personal, but on that replay, the 6'5", soon-to-be senior out of Long Beach Poly, the Jackrabbit, 
Looked like a clean block. Zafir Williams is used to playing underneath in there, and he gets his hands on a lot of balls. He's used to guarding guys that are taller. He had a great season for Coach Shelton Diggs at Long Beach Poly. Great junior year, and he's having a solid summer campaign so far for Earl Watson Elite. Yeah, Biggs, long time tenure, Long Beach Poly, great coach. And this is Duvall at the line, hits the second one. And it's a nine point advantage. Full court press is on by We Are One, and Friedman hacked from behind, an apology coming, and rightfully so from Eric Ayala, class act there. Eric Isle is just trying to get a hard, clean foul, stop the clock. Not, in, not in trying to intentionally hurt Friedman. Just they got to get the possession back. It's 42, 42 seconds to go. Friedman at the line. Friedman, a pretty good free throw shooter, averaging seven points a game. Unofficial, we have him at 11 and taken at the distance. Duvall, again, the surgeon, cutting his way down the lane. And then, like I said earlier, Duvall's going to try to irk and get some baskets there. He's going to try to take over a little bit. He has to because they're down. Sometimes it's, as you can see there, it pays off to be a little selfish. He's got to finish, got to try to get some buckets. Earlier in the game, he was distributing. He's, trying to keep his team in it as long as he can, Fred. This is an absolute thrill to see these players who still have one and two years respectively in high school. And definitely D1 prospects all the way around as hitting the free throw was Jamal Baker. And Baker now approaching 30, now with 28. And there was some jargon earlier on Twitter earlier this week which said who was going to win this matchup. And some of the fans from the Inland Empire were saying Baker's going to go for 30. And it looks like they were right on the money there. And he's at 29. And again, six three-pointers. This is Ayala. Hits it from three. That makes things a little more interesting. 72-64, an eight-point advantage. And Still a little bit of time left, and we will see, I believe, Baker coming back to the free throw line. And he'll get a chance to hit 30 with the one of two here at the line. There it is, 30 points. Jamal Baker averaging 15.8 on the UAA circuit for this team. Had two big games today. That'll double up that average. And we will have Baker courtside after this game, so don't go anywhere. Hear from one of the top players here in the Under Armour Association grassroots circuit. And a foul underneath as Ayala was going to the line. 10-point ball game. It's academic now. Eric Ayala. Out of Delaware, Putnam Science Academy, averaging 12 points a game at the free throw line. Checking into the game now is Zavir Williams out of Long Beach Poly. Having a seat will be Jawan Harris Dyson for the closing moments of this one. And Ayala hits them both. Nine point game. And here we go. Baker will be able to add his point total here. Conzo Martin's getting a special shooter, and he could develop into a special Pac-12 player if he keeps working on his on his ball handling skills and his and his guard skills. He can play the the two and the one, which would be a beneficial at the next level because he's an excellent shooter, Fred. Well, as you fans know, this is the third stop on the Under Armour Association grassroots basketball circuit. Obviously, the goal for these teams is to win the Under Armour Association 17 and under championship, which will take place July 13th through the 16th in Sewanee, Georgia. 28 teams in the UAA divided into two 14-team divisions. The top 16 teams across the divisions will qualify for the UAA final 
championship division, while the others will be slotted in a consolation division. And now in the backcourt, here we go the other way. Ira Lee, and he draws a personal. Final seconds. In last season, the UAA Finals, the title was captured by Team Charlotte in 2015. Coach Jeff McGinnis, formerly of the Los Angeles Clippers, played for Dean Smith at University of North Carolina. Does a great job with Team Charlotte, and they're in the thick of things again. And Ira Lee adding to his totals on that last free throw. 11-point advantage. And pulling up is Jawan Collins and George Zidane rallying the Earl Watson elite team. And Duvall takes his shot, rebound in the hands of Williams, and that will do it. The final will read 77, 66, an 11-point win for Earl Watson elite over We Are One. So We Are One will drop to 7-3, and three, and Earl Watson elite will improve to 8-2. and two. And what an exciting day of basketball. And... We get set to have our guest, Jamal Baker, who is our MVP, the 6'3 point guard out of Roosevelt High School in Corona, averaging 16 points a game tonight. Mr. Baker absolutely lit it up. And joining us now, Jamal Baker. And Baker, let's talk about tonight's matchup. You averaged 15 points coming into tonight's game. What what was the difference in today's action? You absolutely lit it up and doubled up on your average. Oh, well, um, just big games, big games. I love big games. We all love big games, the whole team. So um, we just wanted to come out with energy and uh, just throw the first blow. Jamal, you had 20 points in a win earlier today. You had 32 points today. You had six three-pointers. What was it about this matchup that got you pumped up and ready to go? Oh, well, uh, he's, he's a great player. So I just wanted to come out and uh, just be aggressi uh, aggressive, take my shots, and, uh, and they just went in. You know, earlier this school year with Corona Roosevelt, you committed to the University of Cal to Conzo Martin. Talk a little bit about how why you feel comfortable there and uh, how that makes you even more comfortable on this grassroots circuit because you got the recruitment out of the way. Yeah, well, um, it's just a family atmosphere. I love the coaches. Um, I love the players. And uh, when I went up there, it just felt like a family uh, just the first day. So um, now that I'm committed, I just play free. And uh, I just let the game come to me, and uh, whatever happens, happens. Jamal, you have arguably one of the prettiest finishes I've ever seen. Thank you. Who is your guy? Who do you try and emulate with that shot? Oh, well, just my dad, He since I was basically born, he's been working on my shot. So, uh, so Finish yeah, with the wrist. The huh? yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Well, congratulations Thank on the you. outstanding game, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you. Jamal Baker, our MVP here in tonight's matchup between We Are One and Earl Watson Elite. And I'd like to give a shout-out to everybody that made tonight's action happen. Obviously, Under Armour Association brought to you by Ball is Life. On behalf of our producer, David Otta, our team coordinator and stream coordinator and technical director, Dakota Timmons, our graphics man, Neba Tabarani, Joseph Ariano, our master camera, high up there on the scaffolding tonight, Tanner Schofield, Sergio Sanchez also with a handheld camera. Our replay man was Colin Crow, And of course, our utility man couldn't be without him, Jacob Greenland. For everybody here at Ball is Life and Under Armour Association, for Ronnie Flores, my partner in great action tonight, my name's Fred Salas. Thanks for joining us. Good night, everybody.